Hi, I love you. But, um, hi, I want to talk today about how ticks can change over time. But me. As a teenager, my ticks were much more mild. But me. Like, um, I love you. Oh, you're so sweet. Good for you. Um, they were much more mild, like, uh, head shaking and eye blinking and opening my eyes and minor throat noises were not as noticeable, so I was able to hide it from a lot of people. I was very self-conscious about it, but me. And most people didn't notice overall, but, but me. It wasn't till my mid-20s when a very stressful job induced my tics to get much worse, much more vocal and noticeable, but me. So I was finally diagnosed officially and, but me, and had to learn to accept it and learn to live with it and, but me, lived like that I was able to cope with that for the next nine, ten years, the next decade, until my mid-thirties. Fuck me! When another stressful job triggered takes to just skyrocket, absolutely out of control. Fuck me! That's when the coprolalia started in just in an instant. I remember the moment it started. It was so random, and I'll talk about that another day. But, um, fuck, fuck, fuck me! But ever since it started a year ago, it's just continued to progress up and up and up. It has not slowed down. So both times that my ticks increased with stressful periods of life, it's never gone down since then. It, it increases and then it stays or gets worse. And then, yeah, again, it got much worse and has continued to increase slightly over the past year. But, so I'm just learning to deal with that one day at a time. Fuck me. And as it affects me so much, every aspect of my life, that's partly why I'm trying to share it, raise awareness to help me to be able to be more comfortable around people and hopefully help others going through the fuck me same thing. So anyway, I will talk again tomorrow. I love you. Holy fuck, fire truck. You're real. Love you. Bye. Fuck off. I love you. Bye. Fuck. Fuck.